Jacqueline heirloom vintage and collectibles. This might be a part three because my phone shut off and I think I'm just gonna upload what I was looking at before. Uh, so I'm done with my shopping. No shopping, no spend, right? I spent about $35 and I really came in to get some workout style clothing items to keep in my gym bag as I am working out so that's what you see here I picked up everything that was um, on the uh, clothing side 50% off so I picked up probably seven or eight items which isn't bad so each one was about $5.99 so you figure two for the price of one I had eight of them so I spent maybe 20 bucks or so on that. And then up here, I had picked up, let me go down here, these glasses. Um, I do like to just get some from, you know, the Goodwill or whatever. I have that. Um, I have this brass door knocker that I will, I'm gonna sell it. I think is really cute. Um, so I live in an apartment. It would be nice to put it on my door, but I'm not going to. So I have that. I showed this in an earlier video. I did pick up this wood box. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Nothing super special. Light wood. 99 cents. I thought I'd get it. I also got this shell, this party light shell. Uh, so 50% off. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I might end up keeping it. So that's that. Um, though I personally have no need for these uh, covers, but I do have people in my family who have daycare. So I might put a few in box in uh, little bags and gift it to them for their little daycare centers. Uh, because there's no little tiny kids, many, left in my family. I was very happy about this. Now, I think this is a wine holder. I've seen these for many years. This one's made in Hong Kong. So it makes me think it's not like uh, terribly uh, new or whatever. I don't think so. But the uh, girl charged me $2 for it. And then this is the item where there's a couple that was reaching for it when I was filming. And she was just about to grab it, but I thought I'd put it in my cart, and I did end up getting it. It is Woodland Studios. It is American Walnut, and I paid two bucks for it, and I thought it was pretty cool, so I want to keep that. And then I don't have any use for these. I think they're cookie cutters, but people like to use them for various reasons, so I might end up selling them in lots. Um, but they were a buck, so I thought it was a pretty good deal. So I got those, and that is my haul at Goodwill. I've spent about 35 bucks, as mentioned. And join me, I'll go to my community page. I'm going to be updating information about um, three minutes of your time. I'm going to upload a three-minute video about something. It'll be random. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to be able to just continue to do that three minutes of your time to talk about certain things. Some stuff I'll go deep into, like if I looked up this information, did a lot of research on it, I'll do like a deep dive into that. Uh, I might talk about, you know, uh, get on my soapbox about something, but, but join me. I'm going to put the info on my community page. And then as mentioned, I am also now a... Uh, what not reseller I'll be putting the date of my first sale there I don't know if I feel comfortable doing live sales on YouTube though I will be probably joining another reseller yeah I'm jumping in to the pool you know um, jumping into the click pool you all uh, so I'll be uh, doing a live sale probably in March my birthday month with someone I did talk to Aaron uh, Proctor the ephemera guy with the bro chat and uh, I'll probably be doing something with him. And that'll probably be the extent of my online YouTube live sales. I'll just be headed over to what not to do those. So, all right. Wonderful. Thank you again for joining me, Jacqueline. Heirloom Vintage and Collectibles. Help me grow the channel. Subscribe. 
send others my way, comment, like, and I would appreciate it. Have a great day.